<laughs> Hello there, Lavas. It's your girl Shambuti, and we are here at Hedonism 2. We're going to have an intimate conversation about our bodies that I don't think we get to have enough. And so come and join us on an intimate discussion on pussies and boobies. Um, I'm at a clothing optional resort in Jamaica called Hedonism. <laughs> One more. <laughs> This is the prude side. Over there is the nude side. I can't show you, but you yes. can feel it. I even looked at my vagina until I was like a teen. <laughs> I was just like that. I just it felt like the one area that I wasn't allowed to like look at. It was like oh, like that's the mystery. Like don't go there. Don't touch it. Like I knew that because I started masturbating when I was what, like four, <laughs> three or four. I was really young when I learned that like if you dry humped a pillow, things would feel really good like quickly. <laughs> so um i knew that it was like a place that gave me pleasure and i also knew very early like i associated with it being bad um and it being like I, i'm not allowed to like touch it or look at it or whatever no but, i say my junk or like often i just refer to it as my bush because it's like the bush obscures the whole thing <laughs> and really steals all the attention like people like i've really never had someone comment on the way that like my pussy looks to them mm -hmm. like because like there's a lot of hair and you know what I mean it's like fairly concealed and so it's like it's not the most prominent feature but I also am I going into talking about like when I realized like yeah. what it looks like and all that um, <laughs> I also feel like I didn't know that vaginas could look different like I didn't know that there was so many different forms of them or that some people had like really long inner labias or like I just thought they all looked the same but it was kind of funny um, one of my friends, like maybe when we were in our like later teens, like we discovered this hanging clitoris term, you know, and I had no idea what that even meant. And she was like, oh yeah, like my friend has one and we were laughing about it, whatever. And then I finally like looked it up and I was like, I think I might have one. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, was that me? And I was making fun of her and laughing, but that might be me because I just had no idea what it is. But it's that like, it's still clean and neat and it's fine. And you know, I feel good about so it. Does that mean it kind of, or is like a, a little there's kind. almost like an, an extra layer inside one of the labias it feels like it's like the clitoris skin just kind of comes out a little bit and i would like i think the what opened me up to that was when i went to like the wax lady and then she would like when they comment on you like you're like oh really like they're like there's there's nice and not nice like you know it's also even that experience i felt like it was the first like awkwardness because you're like i'm just going to this woman i'm gonna sit on the table open up my legs she's gonna wax my coochie and the first thing like coochie. she comment said was like oh nice and i was like really nice what do you mean how do you feel about me i don't know what to do i just want the hair gone right now like it was such a weird experience but that was what made me start thinking about the fact that's like oh yeah there's probably quite a variety as much as like even talking to like you re or like other lesbians like who've seen a lot i've never heard you guys use the term ugly or weird we're just happy to be there. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. It's more like different. But like I've seen like a lot of lips where you're kind of like, hey, where's the clit at? Like <laughs> I've seen that. But mine is like, it's like in between. It's like, it's not like super symmetrical and not like super like perfect. Um, and I remember I was like a 15 year old kid, like experiencing your period. Like, uh, I wanted to look like different. I wanted to be like, you know, like I wanted to be like an Ikea furniture piece. Like I wanted to be like very, Ikea furniture is like perfectly symmetric. I want yeah. it to look like that. Like it really is like a thumbprint. Like everyone's is a little different. Mm -hmm. I will say where my insecurity comes in is definitely like I ask about the smell a lot because like I got bacteria vaginosis like in my early twenties and that just started like an onslaught of constant like yeast infection, UTIs, bacteria vaginosis. And like I worked at a desk job and I was like obsessed with like my smell. Like I could smell it sometimes through my pants or like, 
it was just like a big concern for me all the time and I'm like that made me really insecure with like new people or even being like in groups of spaces like can someone smell it can someone this and like I remember one time this guy told me that he was like in the bleachers and he was sitting between a girl's legs and he could smell it mm -hmm. and like I was so insecure that that could be me. Actually you know now that you now that you mention it my best friend in high school and I also spent a lot of like naked time together and had like a sort of erotic relationship. I do remember her vagina and I remember that, that was maybe actually the first time when I was sort of like, huh, that looks really different than mine. And her smell was so distinctive. Like, I can still remember it to this day. And, like, it was, like, pungent in this weird way. And I don't know. Like, attractive pungent? or I, I was so attracted to her, so it must have been. But, like, the smell itself, this is what's the weird disconnect for me. Because usually, for me, it's, like smell is such an indicator like I'm like oh you smell right to me like mm -hmm. you smell like it's just like I don't even know like what you're saying about like diet or whatever like I've never like <laughs> noticed that it's just like I like it or I don't yeah. like it just seems like such a like particular thing um but hers like oh my god like it's like I was really into her and so like just magnetically drawn to her but at the same time like that smell wasn't Great. I've been talking about this a lot, like, <laughs> love vegetarians, <laughs> gotta love the vegans, because, like, it just feels like a, a diet, diet is so key. And I think that, like, it's, it's almost like an indicator of, like, other things about your body. Like, like and so I kind of have peace with it in that way. I'm like, you know, some people have problem skin, some people have, um, like, are super hairy. Like, I just have a very sensitive vulva. And if I don't eat the right foods or I'm not on it, like, with care, it will go to either extreme so do you have to use a different body wash yeah i actually recently started doing that you know the diva cup yeah they have like an actual like ph balanced um like body wash or whatever you can use it on your face and everything but i'm like oh my god why wasn't i doing this my whole life yeah because like, I, I don't get affected by it but I, all of a sudden one day i was just like you know what maybe i should just like try it you feel like you're treating it like gold i was like oh my god i should have been doing this forever i love the smell i'm like a big fan of the smell actually um i've never felt weird about that Although there are times where I'm like, oh, it's definitely like stronger today. I'm like, I'm at peace with it now because I'm like, I just respect you for who you are. Like, you're just like a finicky ass motherfucker. Like, you're that's who you are. It's okay. You're you high, have maintenance. high maintenance. Coochie. I have a high maintenance coochie. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, but it's cool because like, again, like the sensation you get from it. I love the way that it looks. Like, when I feel on top of the smell situation, I even value and appreciate that a lot. So, and I also think it's something to do with me like relaxing a bit. You know, like giving myself permission to not always be perfect or not always be, you know, commercially mm -hmm. um, appealing. So it's it's a balance of both. Like, yeah, you're going to have to find out how to manage it, but also learn how to manage the insecurities. Mm -hmm. And an acceptance of, of what's real too, right? Like, whether it's hair or all these things, it's like, but it's okay. Like, it's not something that you have to feel ashamed about. Hair is still a thing I'm, like, going through. Yeah. Like, I, like, respect... You're on a journey right now, though. You're yeah, journey, I'm a journey. Yeah, like, yeah. I kind of, like, respect... Kelsey and like what she has going on because mm -hmm. it is like a main attraction it is. and like you're cool with that and so that's a beautiful thing in itself because I'm still like is that okay <laughs> you know is it okay to be hairy like is that because I for so long and in my previous relationship like he was always complaining like you're spiky you're this and like I felt like oh like I'm half Indian it's very hard for me to keep on top of <laughs> the hair, hair situation yeah um, but again that I also kind of think it's something with me too like you get to call the shots for your body. If you let other people tell you what's sexy or acceptable and that becomes like what your routine is, then that's something that you have to break free of because people are gonna have an opinion regardless. And if you're gonna go around trying to like fashion your body to fit someone else's needs, you're gonna find yourself always feeling unhappy and not enough. I'm good with it most of the time. I really don't have to struggle. Like I feel happy with it. Uh, it brings me lots of joy and I'm thankful for that, so. Yeah. Uh, you know, I have no, I have no complaints. It does, it does wonderful things. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to your pussy. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. In the comment section below, let me know what has your journey been with your own or with somebody else's vulva, vagina, pussy, whatever your preference is when it comes to both appearance and the smell of it. In addition, please go and subscribe to my new vlog channel. And of course, subscribe to this one. And while you're pressing buttons, like this video. Love you guys. Bye.